Hello everyone and welcome back. Today's video is going to be my hair care routine. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I keep my hair nice and soft and healthy, the products that I use in the order that I use them and everything you would like to know about my hair, then this video is for you. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Okay, so before we get into it, I wanna tell you about my hair. First off, now my hair is very dry on the ends. It is very, very frizzy and fuzzy. It is partially curly, partially wavy. Um, I find that my hair, when I leave it in its natural state, it gets a lot more damage than if I straighten it, curl it, uh, blow dry it, etc. So that is why I pretty much always do that. Um, my hairdresser agrees with me as well, so it's not just like I'm doing it because I think it's good. My hairdresser has agreed with me. My natural hair colour is a strawberry blonde slash redhead. Um, my hair is losing a lot of the red tint in it. The dye has come out of my hair to about here. So that what you can see up here is my natural color. It's a very, very dark blonde. I have that real golden undertone in it. And I think as I use and get rid of a lot more of the dye out of my hair, then my natural colors will come through a lot more. When I was about eight, my hair was long enough I could sit on it and it was so naturally straight that hairdressers tried to straighten, uh, tried to curl my hair and it just didn't work. That is how straight my hair was and it was the most beautiful colour, but I got very, very sick. My thyroid started to malfunction very badly and I basically had to almost shave my head. Uh, because my hair was in such a bad state, they couldn't even use my hair for hair extensions. Um, because my hair was just falling out it was lank it wasn't working very well it wasn't it wasn't very good quality at all so they couldn't do that um, and from the second the hairdresser grabbed my ponytail and cut across my hair went curly ringlet curly from that day forward i ha have had the worst fuzzy hair possible i will try and insert some photos if i can find them of me when i was younger and my incredibly fuzzy hair. When I'd put my hair in a ponytail, you couldn't even see the freaking band. It would look like I have a rabbit's tail on the back of my head. My hair for some reason went even more bright red and things like that. So, and when I went through puberty, my hair dried out so much more and went even more fuzzy, which was literally only like an, a year, a year and three months later since I got my hair cut. So, since I shaved my head, so, that's the story of my hair. I have had my hair light blonde. I dyed it light blonde. I've had my hair practically black, such a dark brown as being black. I've had my hair the color of my shirt. I've had my hair purple, like an actual real dark purple, what I did last year. Um, and I've had my hair like a fire engine red, like it looks like a red pen type of thing. So my hair has been through a lot. It has been fairly damaged, although my hair does go okay with dyeing it so yes that is the story of my hair now I'm going to get into the products that I use and why I use them so starting off in the shower obviously I use shampoo I actually use two different shampoos one of them to actually wash my hair and a second one to dissolve the dye so the one that I use to actually wash my hair with is the Organic Care Dry Nourish Shampoo. I have been using this for about a year, maybe just over a year, and I have to say this is literally the miracle shampoo I had been looking for. You guys know I love this stuff. I've been raving about it for nearly a year, but it's cruelty-free, it's organic. Um, it, this huge bottle is only $5.60. The other bottle, which I think is about 300, 400 mils, is $3.50. I buy the big bottle because it, even though it's $5.60, this I bought like the week after Christmas and I still have some left. That'll probably still do me another two months because it foams up really well. But it is organic, it's cruelty free, it's vegan. Um, it's grey water safe, not that we use that, have that, but it is. Um, it's cruelty free, it's vegan, it's Australian made and owned, it's a sp it supports sustainable palm oil, it's a recyclable bottle, it's just 
everything I wanted. Not only that, it works so well. It's almost like a detoxing shampoo where I can have the most crap in my roots. I have had, I don't use dry shampoo that often. I use it maybe twice to three times a year. If my hair's dirty, I'll just wash it. Um, but I do own dry shampoo and I, it's got to the point where I've used dry shampoo say like three days in a row. This was probably when I was working more. Um, I'd used dry shampoo three days in a row. I had been around oil. I had been hot and sweaty. I had straightened my hair so my hair had gone a little bit more oily. It was gross and this almost just like removes every residue. It sends my hair back to its excessively clean finish. And for some reason it almost makes my roots feel thinner like it doesn't feel like it weighs my roots down it doesn't feel like it just creates a film it's great for my scalp my head does not get itchy with this I don't break out it doesn't make my scalp peel throughout my hair which is what most shampoos do so this is the miracle shampoo that I have been using for years and I, uh, for months and I will probably continue to use it until I find something that's better. But seeing as it's only $5.60, I really doubt something else could beat it. And the other shampoo that I use currently is the Pantene Ultimate Repair and Protect. Now I just bought the Ultimate Repair and Protect one thinking it would be slightly less drying on my hair. I went to my hairdresser last week and I got a haircut obviously duh that's what you get at the hairdresser and i told her i wanted to use not a dye stripper but a, a dye dissolver to dissolve the rest of the color that's in my hair and she recommended for me to get a pantene sun silk or head and shoulders shampoo now sun silk literally just creates such a film in my hair i can't use it and head and shoulders literally causes me like my body to literally break out in a rash and actual like pimple breakouts so Pantene was the only other way to go, but I just bought this small bottle and I have a big bottle in the bathroom as well So what I do is I just put my other shampoo in my roots let that sit in I put a bit of this in my hand. I rub it through Basically from here down. I let it soak in that's usually when I will wash my face the first time I wash my face twice if I've had makeup on I'll use my purity if not I just use a little bit of my normal cleanser but I just put this through my hair and after four uses, I can tell a difference. The base of my hair now is no longer that, it, it looks that intense red, but when I'm in the sun, it's no longer that blood red. It has like an orange look to it. And my hairdresser swore that after two uses, she could see a difference. So this smells really nice. It smells amazing. If someone made this into like a body lotion or a shower gel, I would use that scent. Um, but I just use this. The small bottles are fairly cheap. The big ones are like seven bucks. So I just put this through the bottom of my hair. It is drying my hair out a little bit more, but at the end of the day, it is still less damaging than if I bleach it or strip it or something like that. So I'm hoping that in a few months this works and completely gets rid of all of the dye in my hair or helps dissolve it. But um, I will not put this near my roots because it will make my scalp go really gross. But so far it seems to be working fairly well. Now the next thing that I use is conditioner or a hair mask. Most of the time I use conditioner just because I don't want to use a hair mask too often just because I don't want to overload my hair with too much stuff just because I use a lot of products. So the conditioner that I use 99% of the time is the Tresemme Salon Silk. I love all Tresemme conditioners so really at the end of the day it doesn't matter what one I use. However, I found this one seems to just be that little bit extra more moisturizing or something. I don't know. I can't explain it. I've just found that I think this one's a bit better. So this is the big 900ml bottle. They sell these sometimes at the reject shop. I actually buy mine at Kmart because they are like half the price of the supermarket. But they smell really great. The big 900ml bottle lasts me maybe a month and a half, maybe a bit less. I double condition if I use conditioner because my hair, again, is just dries out so much. And with me having to use the shampoo in the bottoms of my hair, I will need to double condition to really add that moisture back. But Tresemme conditioners in general, particularly this one, are the most like moisturizing in my hair. I find they are one of the only ones that truly actually moisturizes my hair in the shower and out 
So there are some conditioners that when I'm in the shower, my hair feels so soft and silky and absolutely amazing. But like the minute my hair's dry, it goes creepy, crunchy and gross. Like it just dries my hair out even more. This, I find they don't do that. And the double conditioning is amazing. Now, if I don't use a conditioner, I will use a hair mask and I use two different ones depending on what I've purchased. So I will either use the Schwarzkopf one that I rave about that's in the black tub or I will use the L'Oreal Extraordinary Oil Nourishing Hair Mask. I just bought this one because this was what was on sale um, at this week. I haven't used this yet because I was just using my conditioner. I swear this smells like cinnamon. But this is like a thicker golden coloured uh, hair mask. Aldi actually bought out their own version of this last year I think it was and I really really wish they would bring it back because it's almost exactly the same as this but um, this is one of the best it is really thick it just again glides through my hair it nourishes my hair without making it feel weighted down I can't use this one every wash I find it is just a little bit too too much so I will use this once a week or once a fortnight. It just depends on how bad my hair feels. If Because I've just had a haircut, I might not use this as much at the moment. Um, I will, might wait a week or so and then start using it. It just depends, but this was on sale at the moment, so this is the one I've grabbed. But the Schwarzkopf one does exactly the same. It just really nourishes my hair, makes my hair feel really, really soft and it just sort of almost like binds the ends of my hair back together. I find that you can't go wrong really with the either one of those. Now, this is where people tend to think that I go a little bit overboard, particularly once I get out of the shower. So once my hair, once I'm out of the shower and I have combed my hair and basically parted it in the middle, combed it down to get all the big knots out of it with my big wet dry comb, that is when I will start and put some other products in it. So I will let my hair dry for air dry for about 10 to 15 minutes uh, just to allow some of the excess water to get out of my hair because water and oil don't mix. And because water and oil don't mix, that's why I do sort of let it my hair air dry a little bit. And then I go in with a liquid hair oil. I have noticed the biggest difference in my hair quality, strength, um, and even the way it absorbs hair dye uh, since I've started using a hair oil. Now, I prefer the thicker hair oils that are in a pump bottle. I do actually like the Garnier one that I was using. However, I do prefer the thicker ones. My favorite one is the Aldi one, but that's not always available. So at the moment, I am using the Schwarzkopf um, Daily Oil Elixir. It says it's for all hair types. I really don't use this for added moisture. I use this because the oil binds the ends of my hair back together and stops it from splitting and getting as gross. I've noticed since I started using a hair oil about two years ago that I can go a little bit longer without needing a haircut. So instead of going say every 10 weeks, I might even be able to go up to 16 to 18 weeks just because I find that this binds my hair back together. This one in particular I have found I do need to actually blow dry my hair with. I can't just put it in my hair and let my hair air dry. Otherwise my hair feels a bit sticky and a little bit gross and it's kind of hard to style. So I do need to blow dry my hair with this one but I do really like it. It smells really nice. It's easy to rub through my hair and it really it doesn't dry my hair out which I've actually used some liquid oils that dry my hair out because of the alcohol content. So once I also let the hair oil soak in for about five minutes just to let it penetrate into my hair that is when I will go and blow dry. I use our Remington blow dryer and my round brush and I just literally blow dry my hair. I am not too big on using the blow dryer to style, I literally just use it to dry. We have three different heat settings on our dryer, I turn it up to the highest and I turn it on the highest speed and then that way I blow dry my hair. I do aim it more towards my roots just so it can really dry my roots because I have 
blow dried particularly the back of my head I have blow dried my roots at the back of my hair for nearly 25 minutes and then when I walk away my hair is literally still wet so I do focus mainly on the roots and that at the back of my head if I'm feeling very picky I will divide my hair into two sections but usually I just blow dry my hair my hair goes very fuzzy afterwards but I find that um, it really just sort of activates the oil that's in the end of my hair and it just makes my hair feel absolutely amazing it is softer and I find that drying my hair very quickly also damages it less than letting it air dry because that way when it's air drying it's tangling up it's getting really gross so I find that letting it just blow dry is so much quicker so much easier and especially with winter coming up blow drying it's going to be so much better because my head's not going to be cold so once I blow dry my hair I do just let my hair sit for you know another five minutes or so a lot of it's just a waiting game and then I will go in with the um, Kmart argan oil conditioning spray for hair this is a three dollar spray it is basically argan oil it's paraben and MIT free um, and this is only like three bucks. I bought this along with another one that I actually don't like But I like this for dry for on my dry hair So even if I was sitting here and my hair felt very dry, I would spray it on it This is only a product I have introduced actually really regularly into my routine in the past few weeks And I have found that this actually also makes a difference so it might seem like a huge step to be adding another oil, but this basically will just add back the little bit of moisture that my hair loses when I blow dry it. So when I blow dry it, sometimes I'll come out, the ends of my hair feel a bit gross. And I find this also helps to minimize the amount of fuzziness that my hair gets. It's in a spray, so I'm not putting too much on. I just do a couple of sprays each side. I divide my hair into two, spray it each side comb it through I do aim it on the ends of my hair and I have found that that really helps it just adds like oils on the surface of my hair it makes it feel really shiny really really soft and I think this is great because it's only three dollars so it's not like I'm breaking the bank and it's affordable it's available at Kmart which is great but yeah it's just in a spray so I'm not using too much I'm just applying a light layer just to add some extra moisture back and I again absolutely love this i think this is one of the most crucial steps as well now that i'm properly looking after my hair so and then the last thing is i straighten my hair so i then spray my hair i wait about another 10 minutes sometimes i wait an hour sometimes i wait till the next morning but if i straighten my hair i use the tresemme vitamin enriched heat tamer protective spray this is the spray I have used for years. I have tried literally every other heat protectant that is available in our, that's available, that's like say 20 bucks and under. I've tried every single one that's available in my supermarket and in the chemist. Those are, I've tried every single one and this is my favorite. The thing I figured out is particularly with a lot of the Garnier ones, um, Schwarzkopf, a lot of theirs are heat protectant and hairspray in one. So when I spray a shitload of it into my hair, then it's like straightening my hair and like making it go so fuzzy and gross because it's not straightening my hair, it's like holding it in place and then it goes crunchy. It's disgusting. So this is literally the only heat protectant I use. I really only tried this because it was all the rage on YouTube a few years ago and I totally agree. Even if I decide not to straighten my hair, particularly if I really need a haircut, I will still spray this in anyway because A, it's a heat protectant, but it also helps um, uh, shield your hair from UV rays. So it protects my hair and my scalp from the damage from the sun. And it also just, it tames down my uh, frizziness and it also helps to add some extra moisture back. So particularly when I, I would rather straighten my hair without heat protectant than leave my hair in its natural state. So I just, bleh, I divide my hair, I spray a couple of bits of this in each side, let it sink into my hair for a little bit, and then I go through and straighten my hair. So the straightener that I use is my Halo. They are made in the same factories as GHD. So basically a Halo is a GHD with Halo written on it. It has the exact same technology and that straightens my hair pretty much exactly the same as a GHD. 
my friends and hairdressers own GHDs. I've had my hair straightened with them and then I've straightened my hair with mine and there's literally no difference apart from the fact my straightener is not as heavy and my straightener is half the price. I was absolutely amazed when my mum bought me mine for Christmas. She got it on eBay for $75 when they're normally like 150 and it was still wrapped up in the plastic in the box and everything the woman's daughter had the woman had bought it for her daughter for christmas and didn't know and her daughter had bought herself a ghd already so the woman sold it on ebay and my mum bought it for me so i got a brand new ghd for a brand new halo for 75 dollars and that uh straightener i put it up to its highest heat setting which is 230 my hair care routine i hope you guys really enjoyed this video if i can find these products i will link them in the description box i'm pretty sure the only thing i won't be able to find is that kmart spray because kmart does not sell their beauty products online um, but if you go in stores you can probably find it here in australia it's three bucks um, and yeah so i hope you really enjoyed this video i have really been truly looking after my hair i'd say for about the past 18 months before then i just used to use shampoo conditioner hair oil and heat protectant but even then i got a bit lazy with the hair oil i wouldn't get haircuts um i would always be just going to bed with my hair wet that was even worse but now i really really try and take care of my hair as well as the rest of me so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button while you're in the corner down there and the little bell to get notified when I upload, which is every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday, if possible. So I hope you really enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye.